Hey guys, J Tom Bassman here. Today I'm doing a comparison slash review video on uh, two different craw baits. Uh, both great baits, both catch a lot of fish. And um, I just feel that one of the companies uh, is just really overlooked. Um, a lot of people don't, I, don't, I see in here, don't fish them much. And I think that's because a lot of places don't carry them. But they're a great bait. Uh, great crawfish imitation bait and um, they, they need to be recognized a little bit more in uh, the fact that they can catch fish. So <clears throat> this uh, video is called Peck Craws vs. Chigger Craws. Uh, you know, two great crawfish baits. Um, you know, Berkeley has had the Chigger Craw for a long time. That bait's been around for a few years now and um, they had some great crawfish uh, baits too. Um, now both of these baits, <clears throat> I'm going to give you the similarities, I'm going to give you the differences. Both of these baits have a few different sizes of the crawfish. Standard size chigger craw is a 3 inch, I'm sorry, a 4 inch chigger craw. They also make a 3 and an eighth or something like that, that's the smaller version. And then they make a 4 inch which is the jumbo. Um, so they have three different sizes to choose from and a few select colors. <clears throat> um, the net bait pack craw. This is the baby pack craw. Standard size. They also have a tiny, a chunk, and the regular pack craw. So this is equivalent of the jumbo pack, uh, jumbo chigger craw. Now, pack craws and chigger craws have the same claw design. Difference. Net bait puts a few squiggles on theirs. And they beef up the edge so it's thicker. Here is a net bait claw. Okay. Here is the chigger craw claw. As you can see, they have the same niches in there, little notches in there. So they both twirl the same. Difference being, different type of plastic on both. The net baits are a little bit denser than the chigger cross. Um, and then again, the net bait has the little like zigzaggy ridges on there. But in, to be fair, they both have the same exact claw shape. <clears throat> so in, in technically, they can produce the same kind of action. However, being that the Berkeley's chigger cross... Uh, Claws are a little bit thinner, they do move a little bit more, but the net baits thump harder because they are a little bit beefier. So, both here rigged on a Texas rig. So you can see, very similar. Now, with these baits, especially the Chigger Craw, they have one unique characteristic to them. I find, anyway. And I don't know if you, anybody else knows this or not, but Chigger Craws can be used four times before they're completely done. Well, that's if you don't rip the claws off. You can rig it once like regular, straight with the eyes up, once upside down, once on the side, and once on the other side. Yes, you can rig it on its side and it's still gonna give you great action. Now, um, that's what's unique about them. They can use them four times. But, the net bait pack of craw can do the same thing. Net bait has the hook slot on both sides enabling you to rig it twice and if you really wanted to you could easily rig this on its side both sides difference chigger craw is square like a tootsie roll that bait cylindrical and it goes it tapers down into a small point into like a smaller section in the middle now <clears throat> what's cool about a pack of craw is it's hollow. Hear that? It's hollow. You can see the hole right there. So what you can do is when you have a Texas rig, and I love to do this. I do this all the time. You could take a jig rattle, pop that baby in the mouth of this thing, squeeze it on down towards the bottom, rig it back up, And you can hear this thing rattling. And now when you're bouncing this off the bottom, 
you have noise. You have action and you have noise. Also adds a little weight to the bait. Because the chigger craws are a little bit denser than the pack of craws due to the fact that the pack of craws are hollow. But they do have a hardened tip at the end. So when you have your Texas rig, you're not going to rip out the back as easily. So, you ask, there's a lot of similarities, there's a few differences. Which one's better? The Packer Craw. Why? Because the Packer Craw comes in four different sizes. I can change up my presentation four different ways. And with all four of those ways, I can throw a jig rattle in. Um, and it still gives me the same action, close to the same action, better in my opinion, than a Chigger Craw because of the harder thump. And especially these large ones. There are the the I don't have the jumbo chigger cross, but they're really beefy. They weigh a ton. And these being hollow, you can cast them a lot better, and it doesn't feel like you're throwing a, a an ounce jig or an ounce tungsten out there on ten pound test. Um, that's what it feels like when you're chucking one of the jumbo chigger cross, especially if you Texas rig with a weight. These very lightweight, very compact, and you can even throw multiple jig rattles in here if you'd like to give it some more some more kick to it. So. In my opinion, the pack of craw is the way to go. If you guys haven't used pack of craws, um, I think Tackle Warehouse I know has them. Bass Pro has them. Um, maybe some of your local bait shops might, but check them out. Not to say that the Berkeley Chigger ch ch Craw can't catch fish, because it can and it has and it will continue to. But I'm saying for you guys to start switching over to net bait. Check them out. Try them out if you haven't. You're going to be pleased. And definitely pick yourself up some jig rattles so you can throw them in there. And have your nice a nice little nice little flipping bait, um, probably imitation bait. So that is my opinion on which one's better, the Berkeley Chicken Cross or the Pack Cross, and uh, the Pack Cross win. So uh, feel free to leave your comments below what your opinions are. Uh, like I said, my it's just an opinionated video, give you guys a little input and um, something to think about. So as always, guys, be safe fishing and have fun.